The CAQ government has tabled its 2023-2024 budget, and to break it down, we're joined by political analyst Kareem Boulos. Thank you so much for joining us. So the big promise we were expecting from this budget is the income tax cut of uh, 1%. It's been controversial with the looming recession. So what do you think? Was this a smart move? I think when the campaign launched, it was a great idea. And I think if um, Minister Girard could pull that back or lessen its impact, I think he would, seeing as how inflation hasn't really changed much and there is a looming recession on the horizon. But he kept his promise. And I think that's one thing of the Legault government is that they are true to their word, whatever it was regarding COVID, whether it's about the French language protection, whether it's about healthcare and education, we said we're going to do it, they're going to do it. So I think the, the measure is smart. Now, what does this mean concretely uh, for the wallet of the average Quebec family? Well, it's 1% reduction in the first two uh, marginal rates, the first two incremental rates of tax, which means, let's say, somebody making $30,000 a year, it's a savings of about $100 or $109 in tax. Uh, people at the higher end of the tax brackets, uh, making more money than that, would say in the form of a couple earning over $100,000 each, would generate about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars in tax savings. So critics have said that this benefits the wealthy and not the the lower income bracket individuals and families. And we can think specifically of single mothers, people who are you know Im recent immigrants looking for job, um, hourly workers. Will not see a huge improvement in their take home pay. Okay, now we did see uh, big spendings on healthcare and education. Those are really the two big portfolios. Did you see anything missing from this budget? Well, I think that Mr. Legault said in the first election, the first time around, that his number one priority was education. And we didn't really see the, the spending on the uh, sort of educational environment. And so now we're seeing a significant bump up where we're seeing that uh, there's a lot of effort being put into retaining uh, students, educating students in a new digital age, finding ways to create multiple opportunities for education, not just the traditional classroom. So I think it's a step in the right direction. And healthcare was a bit of a no-brainer because of what we saw during COVID. So I think the bump up in spending is not a luxury by any stretch. I think that's the right thing to do. But the government it was also very smart. They've sprinkled money everywhere environment, French language protection, uh, digital age uh, adaptation, trying to get with the times. You know, oftentimes Mr. Legault has been, uh, you know, pegged to be out of touch with the young and what's going on in reality. There's an amount of money assigned to keeping youth in Quebec, keeping French culture alive through, through uh, initiatives to promote young diversity, uh, inclusion in different programs to make sure that they have access to uh, a chance to shine on the global stage. Okay, Kareem, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.